Hello guys, you can see that I'm using Mac OS Tahoe on my AMD PC. Let me see about this Mac. You can see I'm using a 5600G processor on my AMD PC, and it's working perfectly fine. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Mac OS Tahoe on any AMD PC. If you want to install Mac OS on any AMD PC or laptop, and you're welcome to this video. So, without getting much more delayed, let's get started. First of all, you'll have to download these files, but for downloading these files, you'll have to generate your EUI. If you don't know how to generate EFI, the video link will be given in the description. You can simply generate your EFI by following this video guide. Now you'll have to download these files. One is explore plus partition or Tahoe image and refuse. All the links will be given in the description too. If you want to download the image file, the video link will be given in the description too. Now, before proceeding with the method, make sure that your BIOS is updated to the latest version. Go to download folder and open refuse. Click on yes, click on yes. Now select the file and drag and drop it to the refuse. Minimize this. Now you will have to insert a pen drive to your PC. Minimum 32 GB, close it. Now the pen drive is inserted. You can see it's detected. Now click on start. Starting, make sure that every data on your pen drive is backed up because in this process, you'll lose every data on your pen drive. Click on start. Click on OK. Now you have to wait until the process is completed. Now when it's completed, you can see it shows already. Close it. Now again, go to the download folder and here you'll find explain partition. First, you need to install window partition. Click on yes. Now install it. Install is installed. Now it's OK. Click on Finish. Click on Launch Application. Now it's launched. You can see this is my USB drive. Now select the either drive here, right click on it, click on Change Later, click on OK, and click on Apply. Click on Yes. Now it's done. Click on OK. Minimize this. Again, go to the Download folder. Now Extract Plus and open the folder. Here you'll find Explore Plus. Right click on it, run as administrator, click on yes. Now here, click on download. Here is my EFI, right click on it, click on copy. Now go to this PC and here you'll find the EFI drive. Open it and just right click here, paste it. You can see it's done. Close it, now close it. Now right click on the start menu, select disk management. Here, we'll have to create a drive with a minimum of 100 GB of size. Right click on a boot drive, click on shrink volume. Now I have chosen 110 GB of space. After choosing a space, click on shrink. Now it's shrinking. You'll find an allocated space. Right click on it. Select new simple volume. Click on next, click on next, click on next. Put the name as Tahoe, click on next, click on finish. Now it's done. Now it's time to reboot your PC and access the BIOS menu. To access the BIOS menu, you can refer to this photo. Otherwise, you can search on Google. In the BIOS menu, change the following parameters. After changing the following parameters, press Obtain on your keyboard. Select Yes. Now this time, you'll have to access the boot menu of a PC. To access the boot menu, refer to this photo. Otherwise, you can search on Google. From the boot menu, select USB and hit the Not key. Now here, you'll have to choose Install Mac OS Beta and hit on any key. Just wait a few seconds. Now in this screen, you'll have to select the language and click here. Select Disk Ability. Click on Continue. Click on the drop-down. Select Show All Devices. You can see Tahoe is here. Select the Tahoe and click on Erase. Click on the drop-down. Select APFS. Click on Erase. Now it's done. Click on Done. Close it. Now click on Install Mac OS Beta. Click on Continue. Click on Continue. Click on Agree. Again, click on Agree. Now here, select the drive Tahoe. Click on Continue. Now you'll have to wait until the installation is completed. In between the installation, your PC will restart several times. Whenever the PC restores, you'll have to access the boot menu and boot your PC using the USB drive. Now again, from this boot menu, Select the pen drive and hit on any key. Select the Mac OS installer and hit on any key. 
Now here you'll have to wait 15 to 30 minutes. Again, from the boot menu, select Open Drive and hit on the NA key. Again, select Mac Installer and hit on the N key. Now again, from the bottom menu, select Pen Drive and hit on any key. This time, you will see Tahoe. Select your Tahoe drive and hit on the N key. Select the USB drive from the B menu and hit on the Enter key. Select Tahoe and hit on the Enter key. Now let's talk about this Mac. Here you can see Mac OS is installed on my AMBC. Now open this install Mac OS tab beta and here you'll find files. Open it and here you'll find open core configurator. Double tap on it. Close this. You can also close this. Select this application and here you'll find tools. Click on it. Select the mount EI. This is my SSD where I have installed Mac OS. Click on Man Partition, put the password of Mac OS, and click on OK. And click on Open Partition. It's open. Put it here. Now again, come here. Select the Mount Partition. This is the partition of your USB drive. It's mounted. Click on Open Partition. Now here, open the UFI. You can also open the UFI here. Here, just select these two. Right-click on them. Select Copy. Come to here. Right-click here. Select Paste Two Items. Click on Replace. Click on Replace. Now it's done. Now you can close everything. Now restore your Mac and boot into Windows. Now after rebooting your PC, click on the Start menu. Search for CMD, run as administrator. Click on Yes. You will need this command. The command will be given in the description too. I'm just rebooting my PC to show that dual boot is working. You can see there is no USB connected to my PC. Now, let's rebuild my PC. Now you can see it is a success. Without USB, I can boot into my Mac OS, and even a Windows download is completed.